school. Let you guys know the official drop date. In three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, I am genuinely so excited to open this. This is the wooden logo custom sign that I got made around like two months ago and it finally came in, so I'm gonna unbox it and yeah. She used literal pool noodles to bubble wrap this. That's so genius. Tell me that this is not gonna look perfect right there. All I do is draw them in the wall because apparently I'm incapable of doing that even though I lined everything up. Watch out, watch, I'm gonna set up because if you get so nervous to see me doing this. Frank, shut that door. Okay. Look. Uh, yeah, stop. I did it perfect. No, this one. That's where the screws are going. <laughs> look at that. I mean, that's pretty dead accurate. Use the phone? Yeah, the level on the phone. Are you stupid? Sap, I'm already sweating. <laughs> Do you like a paper towel? <laughs> My hands are really slippery. Or just like a napkin. Oh, it's that bad? Yeah, I told you, my hands have been getting... My hands are the same way though. That looks way not centered. Just, I don't, I'm not I'm trusting centered. the process. Okay, but it's way to the right. You're to the right. Listen. What did you do to it? Oh my God. What did he do? He broke the screw. Slow. Careful. All right. Let's see if we did good. Sophie's gonna hang it. Yep, up a little bit. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm amazing. She's sweaty hands, but it's okay. Yeah, I, like you couldn't. She did good. I did great. The hardest part is lining it all up. Aligning it all up. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are already aware of XXL Scrunchie and Tina here on YouTube, but if you're not, definitely go check her out. The quality is out of this world, and I promise I'm not just saying that. She also has a new collection dropping today conveniently, so go show her some love. So this was the day after getting back from Aruba and we actually didn't expect to stay as long as we did, but the Airbnb we stayed at had a few extra days open and we just weren't ready to go home yet. So we extended our vacation and it was very much needed. But I have to admit, it was hard to dive right back into work, but the excitement of officially getting this restock ready to go is what kept us all going. The boxes that you see were only a quarter of the entire shipment. So as you can imagine, the loading dock area had filled up pretty quickly, but so did the shelves. We actually had to go get more to make room for all of the inventory, which you could see on the back walls and certain clips like that one right there. Also, by the time you're watching this video, I'm on the cusp or already hit 50,000 subscribers and I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you all so much. Having this business is literally my dream job, but to be able to document it and kind of be called a YouTuber in a sense is blowing my 2012 to 2015 brain. It's like having the best of both worlds and like I always say, please know that I don't take a second of it for granted and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Oh my God,
And then, as you could see, I got to the boxes that had the new kids line in them, and when I opened up the first one, it really hit me just how tiny they were. I'd gotten so many samples prior, but to see them all folded in a box was just different. And honestly, I think it's just because we were so used to the adult sizes, but I'm just so excited to see all of the pictures that you guys will hopefully share with me if you and your kiddos are matching, and I will show you guys which designs are gonna be available in the kids option. But for right now, just know that they're gonna be available in sizes six to nine months, 12 to 18 months, 2T, 3T, 4T, and 5T. Also, we're finally bringing hats into the mix and you will see these more up close and personal in just another minute or two, but they are the perfect washed material. They have this super relaxed fit and they aren't like those super structured hats either. There's also a very cute detail on them, so just wait and see, but I'm gonna let Digital Me take it away. I literally can't even see the screen from here. I know I have a couch literally directly behind me that I could sit on, but for some reason I always choose the floor. So we're gonna stick with that. <laughs> okay, hello. I am officially back from Aruba, a little bit tanner than before, thankfully. And I know I say this every single time, but this is genuinely gonna be the biggest launch that my business has ever had. I'm freaking out internally because there's over 8,000 sweatshirts over on the shelves and I have so much to show you. I've been running around the warehouse, steaming clothes, prepping the shelves, taking videos to post on social media just for the prep of the launch. So excuse my appearance because I'm literally sweating so much. And it's funny actually because the heat has been malfunctioning for for the past couple of days in this warehouse. So that's quite ironic. So I'm kind of flustered because I have to leave here in about an hour and a half and I'm trying to figure out how to film and show you guys everything that's gonna be in this launch. I have over 15, I think there are 17 items to show you that's gonna be included in this launch. Four of them are brand new items. One of the hoodies is a brand new design that you guys have never seen before. It's just, like I said, the biggest launch ever, so. At first I was thinking I was just gonna put like a picture of each product here and just talk about it with you guys, but I think it will be better if I just stick with the original route and fold them up, put them on the table and just show you all of the colors, touch and feel, and then let you guys know the official drop date, which all of you guys have been asking for and patiently waiting, thankfully. So yeah, let me not keep you guys waiting any longer and let's, I'm looking at them now, let's reveal what's gonna be in the shop. <laughs> Okay, first we have to talk about this entire color lineup because it is, honestly, I have to say, job well done to myself. And this isn't even all of them. Okay, but as you can tell, instead of folding them and putting them all out on the table, I'm just gonna go one by one and then we'll reveal each design as we go down. Okay, so let's start going through them. First up, we've got the I Think I Think Too Much, and this is the one that sold out the fastest last time. And it says, your thoughts are not facts on the sleeve. I'm bringing it back in the exact same stone color, and this is definitely staying in the shop for a very long time. And obviously the next one up is the Migraine Brain. This one sold out pretty quickly, and on the sleeve is says listen to your body and rest and of course I had to bring this back in the OG green the one that I originally launched it in I had it in this blue color before which you'll see actually for another design very soon but I wanted to bring it back in the green just because I loved it so much and I thought it was fitting with the rest of the colors okay so I'm putting them over there as I go through but the next one up is the practice empathy and you might be like there's nothing new with this one wrong there is no hood so this is now going to be available in a crew neck as well which a lot of you guys requested and if you haven't seen this one before on the side of it it says in a world full of people who couldn't care less be someone who couldn't care more and I'm just obsessed with that quote and this entire design to be honest with you and the sleeve says always be kinder than you feel and again this is going to be in a crew neck and I will show you later if it's also going to be available in a hoodie okay are you ready for the next one here we go ready <laughs> All right, we've got the doing my best now in this purple slash lavender color. There's been a huge debate within my family because I want to call this lavender haze, an ode to Taylor Swift, obviously, but my family is saying that there's like no way that I can call this lavender haze. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should or shouldn't call this one lavender haze. But again, on the sleeve, it says, and that's enough. And I'm finally bringing back the doing my best. So many of you have been requesting it and I haven't brought it back for the past few launches, but it will be definitely in this one. Now, this color completely has my heart. It's the overthinker with an off-white puffy and on the sleeves it says breathe in and breathe out obviously this is the other one but breathe in and breathe out and I am in love with this but I do have to warn you guys that this is 100% cotton so just make sure that you don't dry it and you hang to dry other than that I'm so obsessed and I have been wearing it. So if you see any scuff marks, <laughs> that's why. Okay, this next one, I'm obviously covering it because I, okay, I know I've been saying that every one of these that you guys have been requesting for me to bring it back, but this one I haven't brought back in definitely over a year. And so many of you have messaged me and said, when is this one coming back? When is this one coming back? And I wanted to revamp it a little bit. So this one prior to me launching it didn't have a sleeve message. And now it does. Without further ado, here is the overthinker since birth, finally back in the shop. But now on the sleeve, it says, 
Just Breathe, and it's just perfect. I just feel like it's the exact little message that this one needed, and I'm so obsessed with it. This one I know you guys are also gonna freak out over. This is finally the I'm Pretty Cool But I Cry A Lot by Anna Krunek version. So many of you have been complaining to me that you guys don't like hoodies, or a lot of you, so you've been waiting for this to come out in a Krunek version, and you don't have to wait any longer because it is gonna be available at the date that I'm gonna provide after I show you all of these. I still don't know it as I'm recording this, but I will know it by the time I'm done editing. But it's in the exact same sage color that you guys have always loved, same quality, everything, just without the hood. So excited about this one. Now this colorway of the Anxious Crew Neck I've had before in the shop, it's just been a very long time, but I'm finally bringing it back, which is obviously the going theme for this launch, <laughs> but it says this too shall pass in the sleeve. I don't know what else to say about it other than it's literally perfect. I love all of the off-white stitching, the light pink letters, and then this is just such a super soft fabric like all of the other crew necks. In love. <laughs> last of the crew necks is going to be the emotional, and again, this is not the last of them. I do have a couple more, but they're all hoodies, so I'm going to show you those after. But I specifically saved this one for last, and I'm going to show you why. In three, two, <laughs> one. You're kidding me. Literally kidding. How freaking cute is this? I'm finally starting a kid's line. You guys literally cannot tell me that this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. When I got the first sample in of this one, I literally freaked out because it was so tiny and it's so cute and the quality is still amazing. It's just a much minier version. They both are completely identical with puff ink and puff ink and then the sleeve embroidery and obviously they're not going to be able to read it, but just knowing that the memento is there is just too sweet to even handle. I honestly don't know what else to say about this one, but I just want to keep showing it because it's just that cute. If any of you purchase this, please show me pictures of your kiddos in this because I'm literally gonna melt over every single picture. But the emotional one over there is not gonna be the only one with a matching mini me because the I'm pretty cool but I cry a lot in charcoal is now gonna be available in kid sizes too. You guys don't even understand how adorable that this is in person. Like I, I know that's probably cute over camera but still like in person just touching and feeling this and seeing how tiny it is. Like this is my hand for reference. I can't get over it. The only difference is that this one has a hood, this one doesn't. I took your guys' recommendations from the video where I mentioned having a kid's line. A lot of you commented that the hood is a little too restricting for someone that's this tiny and I completely agree and realized that so I decided to leave this one as a crew neck but this will be available up to a 5T so eventually if I start carrying bigger sizes than that I will offer it in a hoodie version. Oh and that's not even it so I just quickly laid it out but this hoodie is also going to be available in the Sage just like the crew neck where you could see it right there it's also going to be available in a hoodie and my brothers have been living in this one specifically <laughs> and the practice empathy is also coming back in a hoodie not just a crew neck but now seeing this next to the I'm Pretty Cool But I Cry A Lot kids version, this is making me want a Practice Empathy kids version too. I mean, how great would that be to have little kiddos running around with Practice Empathy written on their chest? This might be too small to replicate on such a small crew neck, but we could figure it out, right? I bet this could be screen printed onto something like this, so maybe that would be the method to go. So let me know if you guys would want to see that down in the comments. And would you believe it if I said that this still isn't everything? <laughs> this literally looks like I have a self-tanner on, but I don't, I promise. <laughs> anyway, I'm covering this design because this is the brand new hoodie design that I am dropping for the first time ever and I am very scared because I don't know if any of you are going to like it, want to wear it. Let me know down in the comments if you like this one, but I specifically made this design because I realized that I have pretty bad ADHD <laughs> and I've been talking to my neurologist about it and one of my main symptoms was having sensory overload, so I decided to finally make something to represent that and let other people know that they're not alone because I didn't know that it was a thing until I actually researched it. So the sleeve message also reads, taking time to recharge is not selfish because that is such an important reminder when you're going through a sensory overload episode. They often happen to me when I'm in malls or if I'm in like a crowded situation where it's very, very busy or something like that and I just like start freaking out or even if it's just like there's too many conversations going on, there's music playing, there's this, there's that and I literally just need to remove myself from the situation. You need the reminder that it's not selfish to do that. So let me know if any of you else relate to this but regardless, that is the entire lineup now for this entire drop. Somehow I completely forgot to mention that I now have hats too. So this is the overthinker one, obviously, the anxious, and this is not the only cute things about these hats. Underneath, let's see the way I see. Of course, we have to have those hidden messages. Breathe in and breathe out is embroidered on the inner part of this one. Obviously, you can't see it on the front. This one, as you probably guessed, says this too shall pass and just... How amazing is that? I'm gonna put the date of the drop on the screen now and just know if you're watching this video when it just dropped, I am definitely sitting at my computer reading all of your guys' comments. So if you guys can leave me a comment and let me know which one's your favorite, which ones you're planning on getting. If you're planning on getting one for a gift for someone you love, I love reading all of your guys' messages. So definitely feel free to use that comment section up and like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.